Well, hello, darlings. It's Miss Tia. Now, listen. I was out on these streets, and I heard somebody yelling that Jody Sue done got run over by a reindeer. So, y'all know I don't like to go over on her side of the YouTubes, but I went running over there because they said she got run over by the reindeer. I was like, oh, my gosh. I hope she's okay. So then I get over there. And she ain't run over by no reindeer. She's sitting in her same spot in her camper like she always do. But y'all, she just staring. And she not say a word. She just staring into space. Like, she, like, it was almost like she was catatonic or something. Like, it was almost like, like a daydream, but a daydream that lasted forever and ever. Because, like, she just never broke from that staring straight ahead. And I was thinking, my goodness gracious, what in the world? But then that got me to thinking back. Now, y'all remember back when Jody Sue first came to the YouTubes? Because first she was over on the, the Facebook, and then she came to the YouTube streets. Now, y'all remember how everybody wanted to listen to her, and everybody was just so intrigued, like, that she might have some answers into the Summer Wells case, and she always had all this information, and people would just sit and listen to her talk for hours. But well, then the more people listen to her talk, the more they realize that her stories don't line up, because, like, one day she would say one thing, and then the next day she would say something totally different, and you would be trying to put the stories together, and nothing seemed to match. And so then this just kept going on and on. And then she also started to get, like, really mean to people like people like come over to try to listen to her and if they say one word she'd be like like yelling at them or she block them and you know won't let them say nothing and she just started being so ugly to people and she started talking so bad about everybody like I don't think there's anybody in her life that she actually likes except for her littles you know she got them littles that's 15, 16, 20, something like that. They, they're not real little, but that's what she call them. But I think that's all the only people she likes. Like, for real, she even talked bad about her own family. She talked bad about people in her community. And then she talked all kinds of stuff about people on the YouTube streets. But y'all remember that? Like, when she was, like, people used to be like, oh, she was Summer's neighbor. And, like, you know, you're just, like, oh, thinking maybe you could get some information from her. Maybe she could help to find Summer. And then... She ain't no help if anything what she's done is she just caused more chaos because it's like, can you believe one story or do you believe the other story or you just don't believe nothing that she says? And it's just like the longer this has gone on, it's like the worse that she got. But since they told me she got run over by the reindeer, I went running over there. And I'm telling y'all, she was just staring off into space. And it was it was kind of scary. Like, you, you want to say, Jody? You all right? Jody, what you, what you thinking about? But then you're scared if you do that. Like, she might yell at you or something. So you just look at her. And you're like, okay. Like, y'all, I mean, I always know, like, something not right. But, like, I'm starting to get concerned. Like, she might need some, like, help. Like, for real help. Because, like, she's just getting worse and worse. But this, like, staring off, like, she was just, like, not there. Like hello, like wave your hand in front of her face and she just not see it, she not move because she just gone. So I don't know, maybe that's why somebody thought she got run over by a reindeer and she was like in a coma or something because like she was not responding. I don't know why they said that, but it just got Miss Tia to thinking like, you know, like I remember back when, you know, when Jody was what she was and then she turned into what she is and I think she was always like that the whole time. But she just finally letting us see that she's got something wrong with her. And then I got to thinking, you know, why would somebody be like that? Like, tell things that's not true. Like, I remember, y'all remember back when people thought maybe she might have something to do with someone being missing? Y'all remember that? Because, like, people be talking about that. And, and then, like, the longer time went, then it was like, well, maybe, you know, she just... I don't know, like to sit and talk all the time, different kind of stuff, and changes her stories depending on what day of the week it is and stuff. Like, But then I got to thinking back, like, 
Why? 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 Why would you lie? Like, why would you be trying to cause chaos? And, and like, now, apparently, she's on to this dude, Ryan, this guy that's local. Like, I think he's he was looking for his brother, and then he, now he started to go out and he looked for Summer. Well, oh, man, she don't want him doing that. She don't want him looking for Summer. She don't want him doing nothing. Why, Jody? Why? Sometimes, Miss Tia do, I'm not going to lie to y'all, Miss Tia start thinking, you know, Maybe she really is hiding something in all her craziness. Because, like, I just don't know why somebody would act like that. Or maybe she got run over by a reindeer a long, long time ago. And that's why she's like she is. Like, it knocked her in the head and made her a little cuckoo. I don't know. I can't figure it out. But anyways, and the other thing I was going to tell y'all real quick, since I was already over in Jody's little corner of the world and seeing her, like, looking all cat catatonic and, and, you know, making sure she all right, that, like, the reindeer really didn't run her over, like, right then. And she She's okay, and she looked like, I mean, okay for Jody, okay. I mean, I don't know, but anyway, but I just want to tell y'all, if y'all looking for ideas to get Jody something for Christmas, if you plan on getting her something, Miss T can tell y'all, she needs a gift certificate to the nail salon. Because, honey, that girl, she, whoo she need a manicure. She really need to get them fixed. And so that would be so nice for her. If y'all looking to buy her something, get her a gift certificate to the nail salon. Not only would Jody appreciate it, but everybody else that has to see her hands will appreciate it too. All right, darlings. Okay, Miss T is going to jump off here. I just want to let y'all know everything's good. No reindeer's been running over nobody. Jody's okay for Jody. Okay, kind of thing. You know what that means. But anyway, okay, darling. So I'm going to get off of here, and Miss T will see you soon.